Hello everyone and welcome back to Poetry Surprises. It's been a long while. Um, but uh, here I am, the sun shines out behind me and I want to talk to you about a project I'm working on at the moment, uh, which is called The Stow. Uh, the Stow is a kind of large scrapbook, poem, myth, social history, um, colourful characters mixing with environments that are familiar and at the same time imaginary. Uh, and I've been down here in London, in Walthamstow, researching this project on and off over the past year. Uh, and I'm now collecting everything together and I've been doing a lot of research. I've been running around the streets, taking photographs, uh, looking in archives, um, doing research on various uh, parts of history of the borough and history of me uh, and um, stirring it all together and trying to make what is a kind of large-scale canvas poem. Um, and I think I'm actually getting somewhere. So uh, I thought it would be interesting to do some videos over the coming uh, weeks and months to follow the progress of this. Now it feels as if it's actually going to come to fruition. And um, so this is it. Uh, this is the stow. I'm going out this afternoon. I'm going to take this camera with me and I'm going to do some recording. And as I'm recording, I'm now going to edit it together and then I'll stick it up on my poetry channel, Poetry Surprises. So here we go. Project Stow. Well, in my beginning is my end, as the poem goes. Well, for the first time in 50 years, guess what? I'm going to see my gran, uh, and uh, she's down here. I sort of spotted it a minute ago, and uh, there she is. So I've got to get through this little thicket of graves, which is not a particularly pleasant thing to do as you get older. Um, but yeah, it's not in a great state, is it? Uh, but uh, let me get down and visit her. Last time I saw her she was sitting in a chair in Woodlands Road. There she is. Martha Thorpe. Died 88 in 1973. What's the date? 12th of February. Yeah, yeah. So, part of the mission accomplished. Now I've got to go on and try to find my grandfather, grandmother and great-grandmother. I think that's going to be a little more difficult. However, the weather's good, the sun's shining, it's a bit chilly, but there's only, well, half a million graves to go. Now the thing is, until a few days ago, I didn't even know the name of my grandmother. Uh, and I didn't know the name of my great-grandmother. Uh, I knew the name of my great-grandfather. This is all on my father's side. I didn't know they were in Chinkford Cemetery. That was like sort of going into, uh, into the enemy territory. Um, but uh, anyway, here we go. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, at least get into the area where they're buried. And uh, the uh, great-grandmother was apparently named Ruth Hudson, and uh, she died in 1890, quite a young age. Anyway, onward. Apparently, my old man used to do some driving for those. Well, don't ask me what sort of driving. Well, 
After my grandmother, I didn't find anybody. Uh, it was a frightening experience because it looked such a mess. And I was stepping over graves and it was getting quite muddy. And then I noticed the sun was setting and that meant the caretakers were about to close all the gates. And the last thing I wanted to do was spend a night with my grandfather, Frederick John Hudson, uh, because uh, I'm sure he would have come back to haunt me. Uh, anyway, uh, why do this? Am I going to write a poem? Well, to be quite honest, no, I'm probably not. But it's part of the fun of exploring in a project. You just go down certain avenues and you see what happens. If you've got it all planned before you start, you might as well give up because if it's all predictable, it's not worth doing. And I just wanted to explore that avenue. And there's loads of avenues I want to explore in writing this book called The Stow. So I'll come back with more in the future and I'll keep you informed about how it's going. Right, see you soon. Bye.